Coming this Shocktober to Clash Royale, a shocking new card. Brand new Shocktober emotes. And limited time skeleton quests. Where's Drew? It's 10 minutes late for TV Royale. Hey. Yeah. I'm Royal Drew. And I'm Lumber Seth, and we're kicking off this Shocktober episode of TV Royale by talking about the newest card coming to Clash Royale, Electro Dragon. It's a new card, it's a dragon. What more do you want? New mechanic? It has a new mechanic. That's right, Electro Dragon's doing something we've never seen before in Clash Royale, Chain Lightning. That means he's gonna pick one target, shoot him, and it's gonna bounce to a second and maybe even third nearby target. Is it a rare? Is it an epic? Where can we find it? Electro Dragon is a five cost epic in Electro Valley. It's the Electro Wizard's personal pet. It was a dumb question. <laughs> <laughs> of course it's an Electro Valley. You've been dead for too long, Drew. How does the Electro Dragon's attack differ from Electro Wizard? Electro Wizard shoots two beams of lightning, either at two separate targets or together on a single target. The Electro Dragon always does the same amount of damage. It can just bounce to additional targets. So if he's only fighting against one troop at a time, he's not living up to his full potential. And like Electro Wizard, it's gonna stun with every shot. So on defense, he's really difficult to get through because he can cause a lot of disruption to your attacking army. Speaking of defense, how does Electro Dragon perform as a tank? Not great, he has less health than his two brother dragons. He will die to lightning, so there is a way to get rid of him with spells. You can just lightning him off the board, especially if he's standing near a tower, but he is deadly hiding behind giants, ice golems, miners, anything that can distract the tower, he'll cause a lot of turmoil. What decks should be afraid of Electro Dragon? Well, any deck that likes to hide something vulnerable behind a tank should be very afraid of Electro Dragon. That heat-seeking zap ball is gonna find anything you're trying to hide behind your giants and lava hounds. So are there any cards that are really good counters for Electro Dragon? Of course. Electro Dragon doesn't do that much damage when only fighting one troop. So being able to distract it with something small like an ice golem can buy your tower time to shoot it out of the sky. Also, Electro Dragon cannot hit more than three troops at a time, so something really big, like a minion horde or a skeleton army, it's gonna take a while for it to chop through. Also coming this Shocktober is a brand new Shocktober emote pack. Both spoopy and shocking. Also coming for the first time, limited time quests. That's not true, we've done limited time quests before, but these ones are really cool. We've got two new quests, one's to defeat skeletons, and the other is to deal damage with skeletons. So this Shocktober, rev those skeleton engines, put them in your deck, and you're gonna wanna play with and against skeletons to earn extra quest points and bonus rewards. So this Halloween, enjoy Shocktober in Clash Royale. And the Electro Dragon! I've been Royal Drew. And I've been Lumber Seth. We'll see you in the next TV Royale. <laughs> Oh, now I'm all alone. Ooh, 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 ooh.